and the privateer ethics. Don't feel like doing this video this morning, but for continuity, I will be doing it anyway. Aussie, Kiwi, Euro Aussie, Aussie Yen, all turned yesterday. Aussie broke through 30, never looked back. Unemployment, employment numbers were good last night, traded up to 99. Um, for the first time in weeks, this is a buy on dip. Kiwi broke this trend line. Also buy on dip. Kiwi's closer to its buy level. You can buy this uh, in the 40s, 30s, and 20s. Euro Aussie got smacked through 162.83. Then somehow traded up to uh, 162.97. I only know that because I stopped out at 93. Uh, so that was a pain in the ass. But this is also turned. If you look at the dailies, it's turn bar, big red, new lows today. This complex has turned. Uh, so we expect uh, this to continue today. Obviously, we have MPC uh, and uh, ECB today. Uh, we had a shoot up in cable last night late. We traded up to 83. Tuesday's low was 87. This is now a very key key region here, this 130, 90 region. If uh, if the MPC is hawkish, this is going to really shoot through this level. Um, and it could be sort of the big moment to get long sterling. Hopefully you're still core long uh, from earlier in the week. But it has been very, very, very hard with all of these news bombs and, and whatnot. Euro sterling, 77 was the low a couple days ago for like a millisecond, but still the low. This one is treading water more than anything, but two sort of indecisive days. I think prices below 85 is you can you can play. You got to be careful of this trend line, which will be support first time at 67. But this will be interesting. But of course, this has a lot to do with the ECB today as well. So. Be aware, there's both legs here are in action today. Let's look at Euro. Uh, the surprise today will be some sort of hawkish, maybe end of QE comment or something. <laughs> this looks like it's set to go higher. Nobody wants it to go higher. Uh, I don't know why it would go higher, uh, but looks set to go higher. We have two levels here, one 16.78 and one 16.50. 1650s are surely probably going to get broken, but it, it's it's going to be binary. So the pain is to the top side. Uh, the, the the logical trade is is lower, and a lot of people already have this on. The key point on the downside is a long ways away. It's 100 points away. 115, 115.25. So listen closely to uh, what Draghi says and be quick and be nimble. Equities still in this uh, risk on type mode. Probes the downside in Europe. Cruises higher uh, in New York. If you look at this in general now, we'll be just expecting more sideways patterns here. Our top looks like it still is not at risk, 29.18. The bottom 2865. Look for some more sideways action between these highs and lows, and we'll get the next clue uh, when either of those break. Just quickly, dollar CNH is lower. This usually lends a bid to uh, to 
euro dollar just to add to the top side pain trade uh, what else Bitcoin is uh, knocking on the door down here same strategy uh, we're expecting 6,000 to go and then we are also expecting uh, 5,000 to eventually break uh, we will be buying low ones below 5,000 when it happens we've been very very patient here uh, but if you just look at this chart and I didn't tell you it was Bitcoin any chart in the world you'd say holy shit that uh, that shit's going lower big high smaller high lower high lower high lower high uh, and then if you add into the news flow and, and positioning this kinda has to go lower I am not recommending a short position um, but I am saying this is uh, probably going to head lower sometime in the next couple of months and what we want to do is pick up Bitcoin somewhere below 5,000, 4,232, 2,500 um, for an eventual move uh, back to 20,000. Alright, that's all I got for you guys today. Good luck uh, with MPC and ECB. And I will talk to you tomorrow. Ciao.